what do you mean when you say science? Well, it has indeed. As you look at this title, if we were having this evening interview 200 years ago, my answer to the question, can science explain everything, is of course it can. Because science originally, the word comes from the Latin scientia, which simply means knowledge. And explanation, by definition, means to give a rational account of, and therefore gain knowledge. And so, in the early meaning of the word science, which incidentally is still preserved in most continental languages, German, for example, Wissenschaft, covers the humanities and the natural sciences. So the first thing to be aware of is, originally, the answer to the question is very simple. By definition, science explains everything because it is rational. But of course, with time, in English, as opposed to many continental languages, science now means the natural sciences. And the big question these days is the idea which is common in academia, that science in the second meaning, the natural sciences, are the only way to truth. And philosophically, we call that scientism. This idea that there's a conflict between science on the one hand and God on the other hand cannot be true. Why? Because if you go to the very top of science, Nobel Prize level, and let's take physics. If you take someone like Higgs, who won the Nobel Prize wonderfully for his prediction of the existence of the Higgs boson, brilliant physicist and an atheist. But <clears throat> William Phillips is a low temperature physicist who won the same Nobel Prize for physics, and he's a Christian. Now, you see, it's quite obvious that what divides these people is not their scientific prowess. They're both geniuses. What divides them is their worldview. And a lot of confusion in thinking about this, in my view, is that we don't realize where the conflict really lies. There is a conflict, but it's not between science and God. It's between theism and atheism, two worldviews. And there are scientists on both sides. And that's why for many years the question for me has been, where does science sit in all this? Is it neutral? Does it point towards God? Or does it point towards atheism? But generally speaking, philosophers of science, historians of science, they regard this idea that there's an essential conflict, they regard it as a myth, in fact. Oh.